this is gonna make ton of events here, so I just read some news about the uh, dumber uh, case that might be real like, sensitive case to talk about. Um, that's why I'm a little bit afraid about just taking a bad look twice. <laughs> this is seven o'clock and now I'm ten o'clock more. And I this is something to talk about the one of his big team because I just read one of the comments in a video where they are like disturbing how disturbing cop that why they just remembering about this one guy but not talking about remembering the victim as well. Not only victimized but but it has a, a human being person. I mean how they are they are they are they are alive really is in a good way so, because I it's kinda of disturbing me with some reporters that, you know <laughs> they're just making something uh hot news no matter how the feelings of the victims and and I feel really bad when I'm watching that movie, you know. That series is kind of um there's uh, there are some scenes that uh, when uh, reporters that really disturbing when they ask him this question to a traumatized victim that's like that clearly really unfair, you know. So this time I talk about victims uh the first victim was Chippy Dahmer called Stephen Hicks. There is some uh, data about him. Yeah, as I said before, people might be remember about this case, but let's focus to another perspective, the victim as well, not only him. Stephen X is born in uh, Canton, Star County, Ohio, United States, 2002, 22 June 1959, and was killed at his death at 18 June 1978, 18 years old. Patton Ship, Summit County, Ohio, U.S. States, and Bird and a Great Spot Cemetery, Green Summit County, Ohio. And as you can see, that uh, there are some of the, the families that their par his parents uh, just died. And as you can see, that his dad, Richard. Richard Hicks, from 1939 to 2010, and his mom, 1942 to 2008. And I just, you know, they're just going to the blank side. really kind of uh, nervous about making this video because it's kind of sensitive topic and I don't and it's kind of to take so much bravery or more like I don't know I mean I'm a little bit afraid of making this because I know it's kind of sensitive topic to talking about and uh, and I don't even have to contact them to make a, you know a, permission to making something like this, but I, I don't really, um, I mean, but, but, but the way I talk, I think, I don't really, I don't like the, the way I'm talking, like, the only wants to get some hot news or just like kind of weird reporters that just getting some hot topics and doesn't care about anyone's feelings, and, but, but I don't, but I'm either, but I'm, um, I try my best to concern about the consequences. That's why I'm talking like this, and not I'm not smiling and laughing. I'm just talking some topics because there are be short remembering the others as well. Because if you watch the Demer series in Netflix, um, the the apartment friend, the Glenn Cleveland that has been uh, there for a long time, and they hear 
she hear, she heard kind of noises and and it really traumatized him and traumatized her and uh, I don't know what to say and some uh, and one of the other event girl and it came she came and she just asked him like I don't like to say what how what she asked him but she doesn't really care about the feelings of traumatized people that around around the, the, the apartment and I, and I I'd like to try my best to not be like that so. I think that's what to say and I, I think I will get some more information about the other victims but but please please okay please there's no offensive things about this I'm sorry if I say something wrong I try my best to not offending anyone but I, I'm still human, so I can't let make mistakes. Hopefully, it's formative, it's uh, beneficial for a good thing, positive.